Hey guys, Elaine Stein here in my kitchen. I did my Facebook video uh, last week about um, getting my flu shot and I was actually making my juice. And Dacia, this one's for you. She said, can you um, talk to me about juicing versus shakes? Um, and so here it is. Um, I don't necessarily think it has to be an either or kind of thing. I know amazing people who juice every day, who juice, you know, they include juice in their lives and it's awesome. And then I know people who do shakes. So not necessarily have to be uh, an either or. Um, in the year 2014, pretty much every day, religiously, I would juice every morning. I would get my glass, Misha's glass. We would syringe in Jackson's green juice. Sophie would drink her green juice. Um, so let's talk about green juice. Uh, love it. It is, for me, it was time consuming. It took um time to prep i mean we went to the farmer's market to get the veggies we had this big um plastic tub where we kept the veggies for the week we would um, get kale and spinach and celery cucumber all that good stuff um i don't know so when you juice the vegetable you're getting out a lot of the nutrients which is great but you're also getting you're also leaving a lot of the fiber so like i could not just have a green juice for breakfast maybe you could i, I can't i get hungry um, because there's not as much protein as I need to fuel myself to get started for my day. So I, w I remember I would have my green juice and then maybe an hour later I would have breakfast. So I don't know if I was um, eating more or less with the green juice. Um, what else? I, I don't know. I like it. There's nothing wrong with green juices. I'm all about whole foods. I love um, to eat vegetables. I love to drink vegetables. So um, I'm about to finish up some green juice here. Um, with shakes, um, I found some amazing high quality. Uh, I, I do love the, the way the protein is sourced from grass-fed cows in New Zealand. Um, and we also have the dairy-free version for Jackson. Um, and then I also add a scoop of the greens. It's 33 dehydrated um, different veggies that I, I wouldn't be getting normally. Um, so we're getting all the vitamins and minerals and trace minerals that we're not getting from food. That's the other thing about juicing. Um, even great organic produce is not the same as it used to be because our soils are depleted. Um, even, you know, Monsanto, they're spraying their fields and it's getting cross contaminated with, um, you know, organic fields. I've talked to, I talked to our corn farmer's market guy and he said that his field is right next to the Monsanto field. So like, who's to say that what's getting sprayed where. So even if you think you're getting amazing quality organic veggies and fruits, we don't have complete control over it. Um, and I always look for things that save me time, money, and stress. And so if I was in a hurry and I had a few minutes to make myself some breakfast or something, I would definitely go for a shake. Um, I get the, the array of macro and micronutrients, the protein to keep me full. Uh, and again, I just, water and ice and um, a scoop of the greens and it keeps me full for a good four hours even if i work out beforehand and my metabolism is going um, so i don't know that's that's my deal with shakes versus greens i think we can live in harmony with everything um, but any questions about that comment below and and if you guys have any questions in general like I don't know what to talk about. So if you guys want me to talk about something like Dossier wanted me to talk about this, then I'm happy to share. So hope you guys are having an awesome, what is it, Tuesday, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.